Hey guys, so today I am planting um, some more fall plants. Fall, it is now October. It's still sunny, 90s. It's brutal, but um, it's October and it is time to plant garlic. It's almost time for onions. I'm gonna go ahead and plant, I'm gonna go ahead and plant carrots today. And um, I'm trying to think, I might go ahead and do some lettuces and things, see how far it gets. It's already super hot. Um, but yeah, so I'm planting garlic. Just, you take, you get a bulb of garlic. I special order mine because I'm in Texas in zone 8B. And for us, it's really a lot harder to grow garlic because we do get so hot. Um, we have to get a soft neck variety, so I do order a couple. Um, I also get elephant garlic, which are the huge cloves. And um, it's not a traditional garlic, it's actually, I believe, a leek, but it just has the look and the taste of garlic. Um, but they did the best for me last year. So I have traditional soft neck. I, do, I did just plant some elephant garlic, but I do plan to get even more because those did the best. And it is October. I pulled them several months ago. I still have a half a box. They store really well. They're great. So I'm gonna do a lot more of those. Um, garlic, it's very simple. Like when you get the variety that's for your zone, you just kind of pop them. Anyone that cooks, this is like something you do every time you cook something with garlic. But you just pop out the cloves from the bulb. Very easy. Each one of these little um, cloves will grow into the whole bulb. So if you get one bulb, there's like what, 20 different cloves? This could be 20 different garlic plants and you can see how it multiplies. Um, you wanna plant them pointy side up. This, the base that went into this needs to be facing down because that will be your root ball. If you plant them upside down, they won't grow. <laughs> so you wanna plant on this, always pointy side up to the sky. Um, the, and what I learned this last year is that they take a really long time to grow. <laughs> so now I know that whatever, whenever I plant onions and garlic, it is going to take many, many months. So, um, just plan accordingly. I have found garlic and onions are some of the, my most favorite things to grow just because how easy they are. I mean, you literally plant them. You see, I mean, it's, they're very easy to plant. Um, it's basically... Gosh, it smells so good. Um, it's like planting a seed and then it's the really hands off. I fertilize it first. I'll be sprinkling some blood meal and bone meal before I cover them up. Just keep them watered and then in like six months, they're ready to harvest. Super hands off, super easy. Um, so let's get this garlic planted. I'm gonna do the holes that way I could do the spacing and make sure you put it pointy side up. Like this? That's right, just like that. Why 
thank you very much. We eat a lot of garlic. We eat it. Oh crap, thank you. Over here, put one in each hole. They would only get it once. Okay, I got all the garlic planted. So now I have this bed that is completely empty. I'm trying to decide what to do. I think I'm gonna do a mixture of things. I'm gonna plant some lettuces. No, I think I'm just gonna do an entire bed of carrots. And then after they germinate and sprout, I'll come back in and plant lettuces around. I don't know, I'm still deciding. This year I went with this one, the new Corota. Um, I did the Parisians again, which we love because they are they are small little carrots, so the soil doesn't have to be super deep. And Mantis Scarlet. So the thing with carrots is, for me, I don't have a good I don't have a great success rate and they take a long time to germinate. So what I'm going to do is we're gonna gently water these in, get it really nice and wet. And the key is you have to keep carrots, um, the seeds at least, um, moist the entire time to get good germination. And that can take up to like three weeks. So what I'm gonna do is water this really well and I'm, on, I'm gonna actually cover it with the tarp. It's kind of an old tarp. Oh, sorry water and things get through it. So like if it rains, it'll still, water will still get in it. And um, that'll just make sure that it stays consistently moist. And so hopefully we will get a great germination on um, these carrots. 